five years. Um, can I tell you where I see us in one year? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because five years is sort of so far out there in the future. It's, it's really hard to, to assess what will be going on. Um, I think what you're seeing right now in web analytics is this focus on um, anonymous visitor data analysis. And um, anonymous aggregated data analysis. I got all these people coming to my website. What are my most important keywords? What are my most important pages? How do people convert? All that stuff. And it's all about anonymous visitors. You don't know the identity of any of those visitors. Now, many companies operate in a world where eventually they get to know who those visitors are. They buy a product from you or they, they sign a form saying, have a salesperson contact me. And at that point, the, the visitor crosses sort of a membrane and that visitor now becomes known. I, uh, for us, a very interesting project that we're working on is once you know the visitor, you know something about them, in some cases just an email address, in some cases, you know, shipping address, credit card information, and all kinds of other stuff, you can then start to use that data to map back to what the online experience was. Um, and right now, people approach that problem by saying, uh, by maybe grabbing their log files, they pick out my IP address and they say, okay, what did that one individual visitor do? And it's kind of not that useful because you don't want to know everything about one person. You want to know in what way are my visitors similar to each other. In anonymous visitor data, there isn't really a whole lot to go on there. Once you've got known visitor data, and you can go backwards through the time period when that visitor came to the site and was anonymous, you can really start to pull together some interesting data there and some interesting clustering of data. So that's what we're looking at now.